Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technically T here, and today we're going to get into another iPhone 7 Plus case review. Now, today what we have on hand is the Go armor case with the TPU frame and transparent clear back. Now, before I get started, I, I do want to give a huge shout out to this company for reaching out to me on uh, my email, saying do I want to review their products, send me out two of their cases. So, big shout out to you guys. I'm actually looking forward to this case review. It looked pretty good. Remind me of some other cases that I've already viewed in the past. So, once again, guys, huge shout out. Thanks for reaching out to me. Glad to review your product. So, let's start. Once again, like I said, it's called the Isikgo, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's kind of got a funny little spelling, but I'm going to say Isikgo. As you can see, it says smartphone protection case. Uh, flip it over to the back. has the websites down here. One of these recyclable case, one of these recyclable packaging, so they kind of keeping it simple. Not real fancy, straight to the point. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First, we'll jump into, let's go ahead and jump into the black version. You know, I always do black versions of things, but I got a black iPhone, so I don't know what you expect me to do. So, let's go ahead and jump into this first. Now, as you see, it says iPhone 7 Plus. Let's pop this out, and let's take a look around the case. So, I think I have a little bit of clear protection in here. So, let's take a look around the case once again. We do have a raised power button right there. Go to the bottom, we have our normal cutouts for our speaker and lightning adapter. On the left side, we do have those raised volume up and down, cutout for your mute toggle. We do have a sub case-ish cutout for your camera and flash. Your back is completely wide open and straight transparent, hard plastic. And the bumper around the case is kind of hard, kind of rigid, but it's a very shiny material. Now, I'm not sure how you guys feel about that. I feel like my shiny material will show scratches over time so be leery of that it is a very very high shine to the polycarbonate material i mean excuse me the tpu material going around the case so i do think there is a piece of plastic and you guys know how i struggle with these pieces of plastic on it but let's see if we can try to get it off oh oh that was pretty easy cool I wasn't bad, I didn't struggle like I usually do on camera. So let's go ahead and pop the phone into the case and see how it fits. So we're gonna go button side first as always. Nice, nice snug fit. Wasn't really expecting the snug fit to pop on like that. And then we pull off for a little bit, take the care of these fingerprints and just jump right back into it. So very, very snug fit. I mean, it fits in here like a glove. I mean, it's super, super tight, super tight. So that's already a big thumbs up. Let's go back around the case. So we have this power button, very nice and tactile. Very nice tactile, gives you a good satisfying click when you hit it. Go to the bottom side, the cutouts are spot on. It is a little tight where the lightning cable is, so you may have a, you might have an issue or two when it comes to third party lightning cables, but as you can see, it's very, very tight in there. So that'll be you to judge um, to see if you actually have a problem putting whatever cable that you do run there in there. Volume up and down, very tactile. Nice audible click if you hear that. And your mute toggle switch is not shallow at all. You don't have to actually go fishing for it. It's right there for you. Very nice, easy, easy to access. Flip it over to the back. We have that cutout, like I said, for your camera and flash. Not much to say there. Nice, generous cutout. Shouldn't have any problem with any flashbacks when you take a picture with this phone. And the back, like I said, is completely clear polycarbonate transparent material. Now, me, personally, I'm not a huge fan of the clear back. Subcase is one of my favorite cases, but I wish they kind of would go back to what they did back in the day and make the back a translucent color, except besides it being straight clear. First of all, with me, I hate smudges. And second of all, I hate to see debris and lint in the back of a clear case. But some people you want to see, you want to show off the color of your, your phone. By all means, I definitely understand that. More power to you. But the back is completely clear if you do care for that. Next, let's take a look at the lay on table protection. If you look at the lay on the table, it does offer a pretty good lip. So if you were to drop this phone face first, you should be good in that category. So there is a nice lay on the table protection. And as always, I'm using a tempered glass screen protector. Next, let's take a look at the fit. I already told you that it fits like a glove. I can tell as soon as I put it on. But given the size of a pull, even though, like I said, that's your typical give when you're dealing with the button area. But the sides still snug. I'm doing a lot just to pull this apart. Top to bottom, down here by the power power port, very, very snug. I mean, you have to do a lot to pull that, but that's the saddest. That's the click you're looking for when you're actually 
looking for putting on the case. This case fits amazing, fits, fits very good. It's almost a shame that some of your, you know, your third, some of your not well-known companies are having premium fit like this when we have certain case companies that's been out for years and their fit, their fit is suspect. You know what I mean? I, I can respect the company case that has a great fit on their product. That's the number one thing with me is how snug a case fits. So some of these other companies that's been around for a while, I'm not sure if you guys are getting comfortable, but some of these case companies are actually stepping it up and this actually has a great, great fit. I mean, it fits like a glove and this case is not, I mean, just listen to that. It's not coming off. So huge shout out to this company. Great fit in case. So next, we're going to look at the grip. Now, like I said, my hand produces a lot of moisture. So there isn't any grip that helps the edges. But this shiny material is it's kind of grippy in its own. So even though it doesn't have like a textured or a rubber or a rigid edge so you can actually grip it good, I still feel this case has good grip with this type of material that it is. So to me... The grip is good. I don't find it really flipping and flopping out of your hands. I think it, 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 you know, it's a pretty solid grip. Overall, this is a very, very solid case. I really, really do like it. Um, the only thing I don't like about it, and this is personal preference, is the shiny edge. Now, if you're one of those people that got that bossy jet black, I can see how you can stun all the way out with this case because you have the shiny black on its edges, and then you can also have that jet black shining through the back of the device. So by all means, do your thing if you do have that jet black. For for me, it's just a little bit too shiny. So let's go ahead and pop open. It's kind of a sea greenish color. It's a pretty cool color, actually. And I don't think this is shiny. I think this is actually a matte-ish color. So that definitely helps. Or I could be wrong. Actually, I am very wrong. This is shiny as well. <laughs> so a whole bunch of layers here. Good gracious. So this is kind of shiny as well. Not as shiny as, you know, as the black, but... I'm not even going to, well, you know what, let's, let's try to take some of the protective film off. I'm just going to throw it in because you've already seen it, but but if it if it's, if this is going to troll me too much, I'm just going to, okay, yep, I'm not even going to go for it. Let's just pop it off this. Super tight fit in case. I had a hard time almost getting it out. And I'm just going to pop it in, guys. Just disregard it right on the back. I don't feel like struggling and fighting with this plastic trying to take it off. So let's just go button side first. Ah. Super tight fit, man. Here is the green color. Now, this is pretty cool. Um, females, I, this is probably, you know, a female-ish color. You know what I mean? Not saying guys can't run this color, but to me, it's just a little, you know, this is real female-ish. So, <laughs> for all you out there that want to that like this color, this is pretty dope in this black and this green color. Like I said, this fit is A1. I mean, it is super tight. I wish everybody would have this high-quality fit when it comes to this device. But... Fit is A1, you get a good level of lay on the tail protection, your grip is there, your cutouts, everything is spot on, nice and tactile buttons. This is a very, very solid case for these guys. If it was me, I would do some minor changes. I may, I don't mind the transparent back, but I will mat out the sides. If you mat out these sides, and for the price point of $8.99, you can really be a serious contender when you're looking at the smartphone world because you're going to be contending with subcase. And to me, subcase is one of the most popular cases for the iPhone. And that's what this case reminded me of immediately. Even the back where it has this little tab right here, this is screaming subcase. And if they add it, this actually might fit better than the subcase. I'm not knocking the subcase at all. Subcase is an excellent case, but this thing fits like a glove and it feels good in hands because the subcase has real squared sides. This is more conforming to your hand. This actually has, you know, it's kind of rounded a little bit. Feels great in the hand. So, once again, guys, this case is the Isiko. And once again, to, if the company watches this video, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Correct me, please. But this is the Isiko armor case with the TPU frame and transparent clear back. Once again, the price is $8.99 on Amazon. And as always, I will drop that link down in the description. Me looking on the website here, they come in the colors of the black, which I have. And you also have the green, which is there as well. It also comes in a rose gold and a silverish color. And when I'm talking about the color, I'm just talking about the frame of it. But like I said, I will put these links down in the description. The price is $8.99. And as always, people, give it a big thumbs up if you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Later.